Alright guys, welcome to a tutorial on how to build a berry plantation complete with juicers, big vats where you would stamp on the berries with your feet to crush the grapes or the berries into some juice. Hey, if you like these kind of tutorials, don't forget hit that subscribe button and if you would like a complete block guide of which blocks are used in this build, then check out patreon.com forward slash Andy is Yoda because I've got a block count for you on there. So to build this, you're going to need some stripped birch, some oak wood slabs. You've got, uh, I think, jungle trapdoors there, cracked and normal stone bricks, spruce, fences, oak wood, uh, dead brainy coral block, and you've got some stair blocks there as well. And they are made of oak and polished diarrhea. So first off, we're going to start with a fence. Now I'm going to show you the whole fence. It's upright of two oak logs and then fill in the gaps there with spruce fences. So how far along? 15 gaps along and 10 gaps down. So the gaps are where the fences are. So it's 10 gaps down by 15 gaps. Next you're going to need to add in these yellow dots here or marker points where we're going to have some uprights. So if you pause the film right about here, you should be able to count along the fence and find out exactly where these yellow markers are. And onto them, we're going to add a simple oak log. And then in between some of these, we're going to go for our dead brainy coral block, marking out the main living habitation area, the main basement area of this place. You can see I've left a little gap where we're going to put a door a little bit later on. That whole thing needs to be stacked up two more blocks high to make it three high in total, all exactly the same. And then fill in your horizontals of this five by five building system with horizontal oak wood logs. Once that is complete, um, we'll move the camera down. I'm putting in a little bit of detail with some upside down spruce stairs. You can put these absolutely everywhere. I'm just doing a few at the front for now. Then we've got some upper oak wood slabs. These go pretty much everywhere that you've made a little three by three space. I'm just putting the door in there in the gap, but you'll see that in first person view a little bit later on in the video. I'm going to add some flooring in. Where you put this flooring is kind of up to you. I've put it there and on the inside. I'm just using simple, polished Andy is Yoda site for the floor. Now, switching the camera around to the back, we're going to add on, as you can see, some uh, iron bars for windows. I think that's a good thing to do in the basement area. It makes your whole build a bit more secure. Next, we're going to go for four blocks high, a little five by five square section, four blocks high, again, of these oak wood logs. We're going to need a few of these. That's not the right place to put it. We're gonna make a cross shape to start with. So one in the middle and four on the outside to make a cross shape and then extend that cross shape down towards this end there to make it look like uh, a long cross. Once that's done, on the main cross shape, we're going to add in a mixture of stone bricks and cracked stone bricks all the way around. Fill in all the gaps with your choice of brick here and leave some gaps for the windows. And I'm just putting some normal glass in the windows, adding in a door right there and a door at the very front. And as I say, add in your choice of windows. I'm putting in some, I think these are jungle trapdoors. I can't quite remember the exact type of trapdoor. I'm pretty sure that's jungle. I'm not sure. It doesn't matter. You choose your trapdoor. I'm using these as little window shutters. Some of them are closed and some of them are open. And then we're going to move on to the roof. So we're going to switch into first person here. I'm using polished diarrhea for the roof trim. As you can see, just follow along with simple Minecraft roof with this polished diorite trim. There we go. And um, we're going to use some oak stairs for the next bit. 
and some polished diarrhea slabs as well for there. Here come the oak stairs, same on both sides. And then for the end here, I'm going to use some nice stripped birch um, planks. So you can choose whatever you want. I've used stripped birch logs, I should say. And then oak on the sides. One, two, three, four, it should be high. Four. And then come across like that. And that marks in the end gable. So what we're going to do now is do exactly the same on two of the other sides. So I'm just using commands here to copy and paste them in, but it's exactly the same as what we've just done. And extend the roof along the long side of your house. Exactly the same kind of end to the roof. Put in some more stripped birch. And a few more slabs and boom, your roofing has been done. I'm adding another roof on top with a kind of tower section that's sticking out. Cool. Adding in some more strip birch at the top to make sure it's all sealed. And next we're going to add in a few more uprights. Let's jump into Yoda's head here to build along. Add some more uprights here so we can put some fences. Um, here also we can put some upside down spruce stairs to make this look like it's a bit more crafted and supported. These go absolutely everywhere. There'll be quite a few places in this build where I've missed some of these out, but since this is going to be your build, you can add them in and make sure you've done all the places. Add some spruce fences, or birch fence would look really good in this build as well, I feel. I'm going to add in another section at the back for creating a really a nice big kind of upper workshop here. So this is again, simple five by five, three high sections with some nice oak wood slabs for flooring. And this provides you with a beautiful workshop up here where you could process the berries, maybe put things into barrels. And probably this would be your store or your shop up here where you would sell barrels of your berry juice. Okay, at the front here, we're going to extend out a pathway, again, using the 5x5 system. Every principal upright is three blocks away from the next one. And you simply um, extend this out by three sections. There's one, two, three. Again, upper oak is with a slabus. And then some fences just there and there. Cool. So that means we are now ready to build the berry plantations, the water butts, and the berry juicing compounds or berry juicing uh, vats as well. So I'm just moving the camera nice and slowly around so you can get an idea of exactly what has been done. If you've made a mistake, this is the time to adjust it. As you can see at the back there, I didn't put any upside down spruce stairs and you could do that. I think it does add a nice touch. Okay, so moving on, we need some nether wart blocks, some red carpet, need some oak stairs, slabs, spruce trapdoors, fences. I've got some redstone block barrels and tripwire hooks. Count three away from that, and we're going to come up, going to come across by four, and then I think it's going to be eight, a four by eight shape to make the vat, the berry juicing vat. So that's five, six, seven, eight. These blocks could be anything you like, to be honest. Absolutely anything you like. Uh, do follow me on Instagram, guys, because I am posting some inspirational pictures and some seeds and coordinates to great um, places to build in Minecraft as well. So you follow me on Instagram, you'll get some extra behind-the-scenes pictures, great seeds and coordinates, and inspiring Minecraft building pictures, tips, tricks, and ideas. Add on your nether wart block on the top. We're going to put upside-down stair there. Um, that slab I just placed is, is wrong, so we'll, we'll replace that in a minute. Some stairs there. Slab, 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 slab. Oops. Slab, 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 slab. Okay, this is where I realized that slab was wrong, I think. No, it's not quite. Some s uh, fences there. Yeah, this is where I realized that that block was wrong. So that should be, again, an upside-down stair. 
and then we can place three slabs right there. And I think that makes a nice little walkway down to the big juicing vat. Around the outside of this, we want to place um, two layers of spruce trapdoors, and these go absolutely all the way around to contain all the grape juice, berry juice. Once that's been done, you can take out that one and put in a barrel, a tripwire hook to make it look like you've got some sort of funnel or spout or tap on the side. And then I'm gonna use the redstone block there to make it look like the berry juice has been coming out into the barrel. To disguise that barrel, I'm gonna add a few blocks of carpet to make it look like there's different kind of levels and mushinesses and textures to the berries. So there we go. Pretty cool. I hope you like that so far. What we need to do is do more of these. So I'm going to use World Edit to copy and paste these, but need another one right there and two more on the other side as well. So space those out, add in any trapdoors, rearrange your carpets, add in some more spruce fences. And we're going to add some pathways and I'm not going to preach to you too much about how to do these pathways. I thought I do like to line my pathways up with a 3x3 three three gap in between my two uprights there. I'm using andesite for the path. You could use ordinary Minecraft grass paths would look quite good as well. Um, and maybe a mixture of blocks would be good. Maybe some gravel in the path instead of using all the same block. That would add a bit more detail. So there we go, paths are connecting all the juicers so you can get all the juice out. I've got a few trapdoors missing as you can see in various places, but I'll catch up with that a bit later on. Okay, using the outside fence as a guide, you can see exactly where I've placed this berry plantation. And at the last minute, I decided to use pod salt instead of grass inside. Now there should be room for about 10 of these, I think. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Yeah, just about room for 10 of these berry plantations, leaving you room at the back of your plot for three big butts, three big water butts. Places where you would store plenty of water to make sure you've always got some water on hand to uh, water your berry plants. So, uh, three by three spruce fence, three blocks high, add on uh, a little 3x3 three three square of Ocus wood slabus and then three layers of trapdoors around the outside. Add your water in, I'll not tell you how to add the water in, bit of a secret, but if you're careful you should be able to get water right to the top of your butt. Uh, I decided to put in three big butts, I like big butts, I cannot lie, at the back of my plot. So there I am just tidying up the bits of detail with the trapdoors that I missed. I need to add some stairs at the front as well. Oh, and now we're going to add in this little detail which I've started to add into my builds in the last few weeks. It's a little 3x3 three three tower. I haven't quite lined it up yet. Let me line this up perfectly with the 5x5 five five system. And it's just simply that. Look at it. Hardly needs any commentating. We'll go up by, I think, four blocks in total. That's three. There we go. Four blocks. Add some fences. Scatter some... Um, scatter some slabs around. And there you go. I mean, doesn't it look cool? It just kind of sits on top as if it's a little ventilation port or something. The last thing I did here was to add in some nice spruce trees. And there we go. The build is virtually done. We're going to switch into first person view here and add in some details like lanterns and so on. Just like that. There you go. What do you think? And then on top of this, obviously, we can just put some nice uh, bits of carpet. I'm going to go for uh, white and green stripes. Maybe red and green would look quite good since this is a berry plantation and there's lots of red and green in the build. Let's just get this done.
Okay, wonderful. Uh, let's add some lanterns all over the place. Oh, they're not going to sit underneath that. So, hmm. where are good places for lanterns? Maybe in here would be great. Yep, a couple of nice lanterns in there look pretty splendid. Um, also, lanterns look good here and here. And of course, you could add these all the way along. Spotting some mistakes as I go. This needs to be sealed in there, like in that. Okay, back to lantern duty. And again, over here, some more mistakes. So we can just grab these blocks and fill these in. There we go. That's fine. Um, is that enough for lanterns? Maybe just place one more lantern right there. Excellent. Of course, you're going to need a whole bunch of barrels absolutely everywhere. Underneath here, obviously, you've got plenty of spots where you'd have some barrels. Maybe some like that would look quite cool. Of course, you've got a huge big storage area in here where you can put barrels and whatever you want to your heart's content. Nice big kind of basement there. But um, yeah, if you're making this build look good, you would have some barrels around about where you're going to be um, gathering all your berry juice, kind of like that. There we go. Cool. Uh, at this stage, I'm going to grab some redstone dust because this looks like berry juice on the floor as if you've been really busy gathering all the juice. There we go. I'm going to trail it all the way back into the place there. Of course, if this is going to be your store, you're going to have some chests. You're going to have some maybe some crafting benches and things. And of course, you're going to have more barrels up here. I will let you decorate this yourself. Um, I think I would like a chimney at some point, and I think maybe a chimney right here on this side would be a good place to have it. So I'm going to take away these blocks and just seal these in, and then come up with my chimney right about here. So this is going to come right up like this. My chimney is going to be there. And this, this chimney kind of makes sense for the interior of your build as well there we go nice little chimney and if we grab some hay you know what i'm going to do hopefully you know what i'm going to do if you put in your hay block right about here and your campfire on top you get some beautiful smoke coming out there and it's a very small chimney you might want to just increase the size of that there we go up to you it is your chimney you do with that what you like uh, any other details to add i think we are a done deal i might just grab some Bone meal, make the place look a little bit more natural at the back here. Places where people wouldn't come too often. And then round the back of these trees as well. Maybe down the side here. And underneath, there we go. Place is looking pretty cool. Add your berry juice, add your barrels, add all sorts of things absolutely everywhere. And there you go, a little berry juice plantation. Hey. Let me know what you think in the comments of this berry juice plantation. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget you will be able to, you will be able to download all my builds that I do every month at or on the first of each month on Patreon, patreon.com forward slash Andy Azioda. Thank you so much again for watching. Ciao, ciao. And the blocks be with you.